good Wednesday evening, <laughs> March 25th, 2020. Um, tonight I'm reading the Holy Spirit Chronicles, part five. So tomorrow will be a full week that we've been in, engaged in in this discussion on the Holy Spirit. <clears throat> but tonight I'm talking about worry in the Holy Spirit and how they kind of piece together. Tonight normally would be our family night um, at the church. We would have um, peanut butter and Jesus with the kids and they would come in and we'd have the, the rainbows, we'd have the Royal Rangers, we'd have missionettes which is our princess club and our youth group. And then our adult Bible study would be going on. And we're hoping in the future we'll have other Bible studies around um, our communities that would um, be um, carrying on on Wednesday night as well, family night. So <clears throat> that being said, um, I am wearing the Royal Ranger uniform tonight. And let's get into the study. Worry. I know I'm going to step on a few toes talking about worry, but here it goes. Jesus' teaching on worry is quite profound. In Matthew 3, I'm sorry, in Matthew 6, 31 through 34, Jesus said, Don't worry, but seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things will be provided for you. Therefore, don't worry about tomorrow, because tomorrow will worry about itself. Each day has enough trouble of its own. Worry is not about, is not trusting, worry is not trusting in our God. The practice of seeking the kingdom of God and his righteousness is a liberating factor in defeating worry in our lives. Worry is faithlessness. Worry is not trusting the goodness of God's intentions for us. God, are you really good? God, are you really concerned about these issues in my life? God, did you really mean what you said in your Bible? In Genesis 3, verses 3 through 5, this is how it reads. Now the serpent was the most cunning of all the wild animals that the Lord God had made. And he said to the woman, Did God really say you can't eat from the tree, any tree in the garden? The woman said to the serpent, Oh, we may eat of the trees and the fruit in the garden. Of any of them, the woman said to the serpent, But we may not eat from the fruit of the trees in the garden in the middle of the garden. He said, You must not eat it or even touch it or you will die. No, you will not die, the serpent said to the woman. In fact, God knows that when you eat of it, your eyes will be opened. And you will be like God, knowing good and evil. Worry is not trusting in the goodness of the Father. When we worry, we turn from trusting in Holy Spirit's good directives and embrace the lie that Satan has been saying for thousands of years. Did God really say? That question is one that plagues us. When we look at Psalms 62, Verse 2. In the Passion Translation, it says, God alone is my safe place. His wraparound presence always protects me, for he is my champion defender. There's no risk or failure with God. So why would I let worry paralyze me, even when troubles multiply around me? Good word. Troubles will multiply around us. But Jesus Christ is my defender. He is my safe place. Jesus is my strong tower that I run into. In John chapter 16, verse 33, the Bible says, I have told you these things so that in me you may have peace. In this world you will have trouble. But take heart, I have overcome the world. Then in Proverbs 18.10, in the New King James Version, it says, the name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous run into it and are safe. I am aware of the terrifying news that is constantly bombarding us. However, I am a disciple of the Lord Jesus Christ, a man who trusts my Heavenly Father and walks in the delight of the Holy Spirit's presence. I refuse to worry, but I will take my concerns before my God and release them to Him. May the fellowship of the Holy Spirit and the love of our Father
and the power of Jesus Christ be released through our prayers to bring about his peace. Amen. I'm Pastor Kevin. This is the Holy Spirit Chronicles number 5 on Wednesday night, the 25th of March. God bless.